Hello and welcome to my Clark mill drill. The mill drill is about 10 years old. I got it off a guy who's building remote control cars. Uh, that come with it. It's like a load of slot discs on an arbor. And what he was using it for was to make heat sinks. Uh, obviously this is a cast one, but he was using it to cut the fins and heat sinks for the motors, for the remote control cars, for cooling. Uh, that is the power supply of a computer. It gives you 12 volt. DC and it's going to be used to run the wiper motor so I can have a power table on that. This is a nice Adwub milling vise, it's got a few war wounds in it. It's a 6 inch, it's really heavy, about 30 kilo. I got that off a car boot. Uh, this lever here just controls the quill. Then if you tighten this up here, then you can use your fine feed. And so, uh, to lower and raise the head, you have to undo these two nuts here. Then on the other side of the mill, uh, there's your stop start button there. Uh, you've got a lever that engages like a rack and pinion, and you can see the rack right there. And this lever makes the head go up and down. That orange box there, that's your forward and reverse controls for your motor. I think if you run the sl slowest belt speed, so. 90 RPM is in there, a little bit faster. You can use it for tapping if you've got a machine tap. But I'm not convinced about that. Okay, thank you for watching. Today I'm cutting a slot in aluminium. The best tool for the job is this the two flute cutter, because as it rotates, you get a better clearance and it fires out the chips. You'd think this would cut better, wouldn't you? With more of a cutting flutes. But these are actually ideal for profiling the edge, rebating and the likes, so I'm told. So anyway, let's do a cut. Start her up. Two thousand one hundred RPM. Let's see how Not done a bad job actually. Thanks for watching.